and get the absolute cheapest bean. Use the cheapest grinder. Try to be in a rush. <laughs> Coffee and bikes, they just go together. Before, during, after a ride, whatever the case is, it's a perfect match. So I'm setting about making better coffee, and apparently I succeeded. My wife gave me a compliment on this coffee. Hey everybody, Brian Davis, Brian Davis Races. Today I'm gonna run through three tips on making a reasonably good espresso using the AeroPress. This has been a personal challenge of mine for years. Ever since I got an AeroPress, I tried to make espresso. In reality, AeroPresses are really good at making one single cup of coffee that's really pretty good, but I could never figure out how to make a reasonable espresso. So I think I finally cracked the code this morning. Three tips on making a reasonably good espresso using an AeroPress. <laughs> All right, tip number one is to get reasonable beans, something decent, not junk, and then you're gonna wanna use a burr grinder to really release the flavors and oils from the coffee. Now, a burr grinder is very different than a blade grinder that most people have in their houses, so it's a little bit more expensive, but totally worth it. A burr grinder, like this one, gives you the option to choose coarse, which is what we use on our day-to-day -day coffee when we use the French press, that's our everyday blends, and then when I make the AeroPress espresso or any type of AeroPress, I move it over to extra fine and then I dial up my number. All right, tip number two, while your water is boiling, you've got your ground coffee over here, give that a little shake to loosen up the clumps. Got your scooper, got your plunger, got your little cavity. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh, first we're gonna get the paper filter just a little wet. Gently put that in there. Gonna smash that closed. This is the stir, this is really important. And then, the big secret, the tamper, smasher, smusher. They make a uh, one of these with a tamper on the bottom, but that costs money. So just grab a bottle that fits inside this chamber and you should be good to go. The other big secret is to use a little bit more coffee than they would normally recommend. So I don't have a food scale, so I'm not gonna get that excited about it, but one, uh, two, and maybe two and three quarters scoops should yield us a pretty reasonable espresso. All right, so the way this works is we can uh, put this right on top of the glass that we're going to espresso in, and we've got our plunger and our tamper. All right, now we've got our water that just came off the boil. Oh, sorry. Now we're going to tamp. Not super hard, but we're just gonna smash it. The only downside of using a bottle instead of the actual tamper is it's not quite a flush flat bottom, but you know, good enough for what we're trying to accomplish. So another key secret is to pour the water into the spoon first so you don't smash, the water doesn't break up your tamping. So we're gonna just Baffle the hot water a little bit. All right, now we've got our water up to number two. Let's go a little bit more water. So that's just past the number two on the measuring line. And we're gonna wait maybe 10 or 15 seconds. All right, then we're gonna stir. But in this case, we don't wanna stir the puck or the coffee grounds. We're just gonna stir up the water a little bit and then let that settle down. In the past, I always pushed it down really slow. But what I've learned recently is you really need to smash it down fast and that'll get you some good air in your espresso which will lead to the crema. All right, let's try it. Here we go, smash. Okay, now that doesn't look like a ton of crema, but for an AeroPress, that's pretty reasonable. I can assure you that is significantly more than I have ever gotten in the past 
and the taste is fantastic. Checking out the channel today. If you like what I had to say, give me that thummy, give me a subscribe, give me a comment. What's your best practices for using an AeroPress or what other method do you have for an espresso? Oh yeah, that's really good. If you don't like what I had to say, buh bye bye <laughs>